What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, yes, and is. with me, as always, is my buddy Mikey. What's going on, Chris? Happy uh, Thanksgiving, Happy brother. Thanksgiving, buddy. How was yours? Good? Uh, yes, yes. I uh, ate like an animal and fell asleep uh, probably about seven o'clock and woke up like twelve o'clock. Oh damn! See, no, I didn't go to bed that I didn't go to bed that early, but I did eat I tons and out. tons of pie, man. I still I'm still eating tons of pie, and I love it. I got pecan, cheesecake, out. pumpkin, and some regular cheesecake. There you and go. Some apple you turnovers, it. man. You get it all covered. Yeah, no, it's a good it's a good holiday. I, I hope. Like I hope you guys had a good holiday, a good Thanksgiving. If you celebrate American Thanksgiving, I hope you had a good yes. one. Um, I would also like to, to apologize for this video being out way later than we, when we way, anticipated way, 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 way. The, the holiday. <laughs> we thought we had the holiday on check, and we did not. So we weren't able to get uh, together to do this until yeah. until when we are now. Very, very busy people. Yeah, so we, we definitely apologize for that. The next video should be on time, so don't worry about that. Anyway, yeah. Mikey, let's get into this. Um, yes. I will tell you right away that I did not really like this episode i didn't like some of the stuff that they did and i'll just i'll list them out real quick one okay uh one was the rick and dal fight losing the guns that was shit another one was uh how the how the how the lieutenants were reacting and we can get into that in a second um and uh uh yeah i guess those are the two main things oh and how and how how uh eugene found out you know, that's that, why that Dwight was was, is the one around. that's given that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. What'd you think? Did you like this? Did you not like it? I enjoyed the episode. I think the biggest um, positive is we did see a little bit. Obviously, let's kick it right off. It's it's we finally got Negan back we'll again go back to Negan, yeah. from the first first episode. We haven't seen him. Um, there was a lot involved with the Gabriel and the Negan thing. Uh, I enjoyed the fact that we got a little bit of confessions from both of them. We have we got Negan's. We Negan explains his his backstory. His backstory. More than, the more than we've gotten on this, we know because we read the comic. Yeah, and if you uh, read but the even comic, Gabriel, you know. Gabriel trying to get the confession out of out of Negan and and Gabriel confessing himself about what he did before. Oh, with the church you know, and how started, he did. Yeah, right. And how he had to lock, you know, how he locked people out. I think Negan was like, "Whoa, that's cold, man," or something. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So it was, you know, that was cool. Um, not to jump too far ahead, but I mean, we don't need to, we don't need to go, go too crazy. But when finally they were escaping uh, the trailer uh, with the guts and, and all this and all this kind of stuff, there were several times when Gabriel got the gun back that I'm like, Oh my God, just shoot this guy. Just shoot this guy. And we actually saw them save each other from walkers. Mm -hmm. You see a side of Negan that I think they purposely gave us for a future plot point with his character being um, what being that there might be i'd hate to say good in him but i think there he's not as bad as well yeah look you, I'm gonna, you know me, they gave him a little bit of a, a, a side there that you're like whoa you well know, let me let me pick it easily killed right. himself yeah i'm gonna pick you back on what you're saying because what what, mm -hmm. what and, and and i agree and not ever okay Everybody, even bad guys, all right, ha are doing it for a reason. Yes, there mm -hmm. are people that are just sadistic mofos that want to watch the world burn. Negan is not one of them. The governor yeah. was possibly one of them. But mm -hmm. Negan is not. Negan has a backstory. Negan Negan was a caring person to whatever degree he, he considers himself a caring person. And he considers what he's doing, even though he knows, look, he's not dumb. He, he yeah. considers what he's doing as good for the world. He even says um, uh, that people are resources and the foundation for what they're building. He because he yells at Simon because Simon's like, "Let's just go back and and just kill everyone." He's like, "Uh, no. Number one, number one, people are resources and they're the foundation." So yeah. right there, that line is saying, "No, that's not what we do here." Yes, he we feel it's we, justified, like what he's done. Well, right? He's yes, he and he knows that what he does is sadistic. He knows that mm -hmm. some, but he knows that if nobody, uh, that's why people follow him. Yeah. That's why he's the guy in charge because he is willing to burn someone's face off. He is willing to take a bunch of wives. He is willing to do the things that most people are right. not. So yes, so it's not that he is the devil incarnate. He's it's not just a complete. That he not a knows complete. this world. He's uh, he understands this world very quickly mm -hmm. he understood it very quickly but i do want to go back to say yeah. something what i said about when he said the simon right after that quote i believe he says to simon simon are we backsliding which yeah. means simon 
there was some there was some stuff with Simon in the past. Now you had mentioned off camera that um, you said there was a, a, a theory. There's a lot that... of yeah. There's a lot of theories out there that are saying that. Well, obviously, in the episode, we get uh, you know Negan admits that he came to the sanctuary and there was oh, someone right. else in charge. Right, and he took so, over. Yeah, yeah. Was that Simon? Of... What was that Simon? Was Simon was Simon the one that was yeah was 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 in charge you know listen when when everybody thought when all these lieutenants thought that that negan was gone and that negan was dead or no one had any clue you know if he was alive or not there was a big power struggle at that table there was plans from from uh what's the what's the girl's name uh rachel rochelle right what the heck is her name it doesn't matter the one girl she it the savior matter. she she spews out some plan and that's when eugene was kind of like no 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 that's not gonna good there's there's a lot of there was a lot of struggle um a power struggle there. So, so in, in an essence, there is, you know, Negan knows what he's doing and people respect him. People are like, Oh, thank God, Negan, when he came back and the, and, the, and you heard that the workers that, that were uprising and they were, yeah. So, so it's, um, it was, it was cool that way to see more of the inner workings of the sanctuary. Cause we didn't really get that too much. We didn't really get the, like the, the levels that you can have as a savior from just the workers right. and, and then these, to the these lieutenants, are lieutenants to the, yeah. yeah. So it was kind of cool to see the caste system that they, that, that, yeah, exactly. A, but, a bit of the sanctuary inside, but here's the thing. Let's talk about that because this is what really, this was the other, one of the major things that bothered me. So you have their lieutenants. They're not only is Negan gone. They think he's dead. They're not looking for him. Number one. Number two yeah. is they're surrounded by zombies still. Right. Number three, they have all the people down, all the workers down there, whatever. Right. Here's what mm. happens. They, 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 they have this meeting and then they split and they go back to their rooms or some of them do or whatever. Uh, Dwight goes back to his room. Eugene goes and gets him a jar of pickles and, and, and walks in. And, and you and I had the conversation before, um, before we recorded saying, you know, was it all at the same time? Was that a flashback? No, I don't think it was because he goes and says thank you to Dwight by sticking up for him. Then he goes back to his room and he uh, plays Atari, right? Yeah. And um, that's also where he sees that he sees the paint on the the little figures for the chessboard. And then later on, later on, now we're back in the meeting room again. So this is what pisses. This is what kind of pissed me off, and this is yeah. why it made me feel like I was watching Fear the Walking Dead because now you're doing some dumb shit. Now you're doing something where it's like, okay, we're just gonna split, and then we're gonna come back for no. Oh no, let's let's reconvene in a half hour. Like, okay, maybe, but no one said that. No one yeah, said I, that. They just cut and now they're back in their rooms. Then it goes back into the meeting room. Like, I'm like, this is Fear the Walking Dead stuff, man. This is what is yeah. I that's why this this was the one of the main things that pissed me off. And then let's get into Eugene's thing. So he has the paint on him, and then he and then there's a bag. It's 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 uh uh Dwight's bag or whatever, and he sees the paint on it, and he makes and he puts two and two together. I'm like Really? Again, yeah. Fear the Walking Dead shit. I'm sorry, but that to me that's Fear the Walking Dead and it's really dumb. I didn't like it, man. I didn't I didn't <laughs> like it. That whole thing, I didn't they're not looking for Negan. Oh, he must be yeah. dead. Blah blah blah. Meanwhile, you're surrounded, so we're not gonna make a plan to get out of this place. Well, that's what it is. Everybody had their workers. own little it, that that's what kind of I mean, it kind of annoyed me to to agree, but that's what I was saying about like the whole power scroll. No one really knew what yeah, to do since I, Negan I, I was gone. I, I understand you know what I mean? that. But and that's what really they were, guess, they were portraying. That's fucking dumb, you know, man. I just, listen, man. Yeah. And then, and then the workers come out and they're like, you know, like, Oh, I hope these guys get killed. And then Negan oh he comes God, back yeah. and I'm like, all right, whatever. He came back and he's covered. Now, uh, before we get into Rick and Dell, because I, I have to rant about that too. Mm. Uh, do you think, so, Gabriel mentions at the end, he mentions that he has to get the doctor, right? He mentions to Eugene. To Eugene. So now then I, I, a bulb went off in my head like, oh crap, was, what, did he stay behind on purpose? Or was, I know he was getting in the car and then he was like, he was oh, going to leave. Damn it. He was going to leave and then he saw Gregory. But then why does he, it made it seem like his mission was to stay back and get the doctor. You didn't get the sense you know, of that? No, no. I mean, I don't. I didn't. You mean in the past, like that was his job? Like, like I thought, like at, yeah, like okay, we're all gonna take off, Gabriel. You're gonna find so. a doctor. No, I don't right. think. So. I, I think know. That, I maybe that was. Yeah, no, I don't think that that was the case at all. I just think that they were just following Rick's plan into really keeping all the lieutenants and keeping Negan and everybody stuck in the sanctuary while they're going out and doing and, their thing. Right? No, I mean that plan. 
I, yeah, I don't think it was anything. I just think that now that that um, Gabriel's there, he was like, we he, need to get the he, doctor. We need to get this dude out of here. My my question for you about that, because obviously when they open up the the, the 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 door, the closet, the room, the small room that that Gabriel's in, he looks he looks he really looks sick. sick. His balls. So now. When I was talking to you before about the guts and when Negan and Gabe were sneaking out and they were covering each other with guts, Negan had said, um, you know, you guys ever get sick by doing this. So let me ask you that. Do you think that because they were off theory? I thought I know what you're going to say, but maybe he was bit or something like that, because, listen, they did have a swarm. It was like ridiculous. It's like they got out of that swarm of zombies, but a fucking 500 pound tiger couldn't get away from six of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a little it was a little. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Crazy. Look, what do you? Yeah, but I know. In the end, you know, um, I'm wondering: Do you think that it was a it was a potential bite, or you think maybe Gabe is sick um, because of the guts or anything? Like, look, you, either you've way, never really seen anybody get sick from it? No, they've never got. Look, they've done that a bunch of times. Not only that, Fear and the everybody Walking knows Dead, how to do it. Yeah, and in Fear <laughs> the Walking Dead, Nick's done it a thousand times. Yeah, and yeah, he's never true. been sick. Well, remember in the first season when they were sneaking out of Atlanta and they were covering themselves and all this kind of stuff. I remember them saying, make sure you don't get it on your skin and all. They were just so careful and everything just had to be on their coats. They had gloves and they were covered. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's just like, all right, they're, they're grabbing the, the innards of this guy. They're, they're just the, the guts of these walkers with their bare hands now. And it, it would be, it would be, um, I mean, kind of, kind of cool if if, if maybe did, they do he, get sick he, that way. They get sick, and he, I don't yeah. know. So, guys, let us know what you think down below because yeah. let us know what you think if you think that's a thing. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think he might have gotten bit, but let, right. can we rant about uh, Rick and Daryl real quick? Because you can rant about Rick and Daryl. Yes. Why? <laughs> it was that a character? Right? It was that a character, man? Like that's just uh, <laughs> so everyone's everyone's everyone. They had this plan. Here's the interesting thing. And I don't know if I like this or not, but they have this mm-hmm. plan. And it seemed like a pretty good plan. Like yeah. every episode, we're getting a little bit more of the fact that whatever's happening is actually planned to happen, which is crazy. Like, it's like, oh, my God, this is so cool because, oh, oh, that's why they did that. And that's why they're doing this. And everything is just going, up, which is really it's cool. really working. I really enjoy it. Right. I, yes. And, and I really enjoy that. But everyone's unraveling. Like, like all well, of a sudden, saying, there's a lot of flip flopping. Why the, the hell is everybody? Right? So now, so now Rick, oh, do I, you think, uh, okay. So do you think Rick's having this ever since the baby, since he killed the the baby's dad? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's when he killed that baby daddy. Yeah. yeah, ever, yeah. Ever, ever since then, you know, it was a big scene when Rick sees his reflection. And I think th- okay, since then, yeah, maybe. and that's a big reason, dude, that's why they're pouring this on. But we see this so much. We see this with Morgan. We see this with Jesus. And this goes back a couple episodes ago when Tara and Jesus were arguing, when Morgan and Jesus were arguing about, about these saviors that gave up. Now, at this point right now, if Rick was to have those guys in front of him, those saviors in front of him, I think Rick would be like, all right, you did the right thing. Yeah. Before the baby... Oh, he would have killed him. He would have flipped out. But my biggest thing about that scene with Rick and Daryl was I can understand where Rick is coming from, just like I had said with the with the whole baby situation, right. like this revelation that he had. But I can see Daryl, too. Do you really think you could – do you really think that these saviors, these workers, these innocent people that are in there um, who have families, who there could be children in there, you don't mm-hmm. necessarily know um, – you know, could these people uh, become good? Can you bring these people into your community and not have to worry about them? I think they showed us a little bit of that with the whole with this episode with Negan coming back and the people like, oh, thank God, Negan, because they just think Negan. So they just want they just want someone food. to protect them. Yeah, yeah. they want somebody yeah, to protect yeah, yeah. them. So I think there are a lot of those saviors in there, especially the workers. So I think it really have to be a case that by can case be saved. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's the big reason why Rick and Daryl fought in the first place, which I did not like. I don't think it's going to turn into something big. I don't think we're going to have to worry about. No, that's done. Too, really. It's done. They even picked each other up. And, and they, they were like, oh, chokehold's you know, illegal. Chokehold. Yeah, the whole chokehold. Yeah. So no, they're okay. Darryl they're Ryan okay. Choke. It's just you lost the guns, and uh-huh. I just That's thought it was okay, a though, dude. Because before, before they even... I just want them to have the guns, man. See, that weapon, that's like having a nuke or something like that, that fifty cal. So in a way, yeah, it's almost like but... you're always going to have to worry about that weapon 
falling into the wrong hands and potentially you die. So in a way, when when the the truck exploded, when Rick threw the grenade, the the dynamite and all this and and all this kind of stuff and and that kind of stuff was destroyed. I was almost like, all right, so no one has it. It's it's like it's 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 an unnecessary weapon to a degree for me. I so I, I kind of was like, all right. You know, but well, what do you think? You say that you didn't, you don't like. I don't the like. I, that I, I wanted them to have the guns. I, I wanted them to have the guns. Yeah. You know? And yeah. yes, I, I, you know, I, I do agree with. Yeah, I guess you know, I, I see where they were going, and mm-hmm. I guess, I guess, having a fight with two men like that, I guess it's inevitable to have a scuffle. But I just didn't yeah. like the way that was. I didn't like the way it went uh, down. I didn't like the way yeah. it was just. Whatever. It little, Let's yeah, put it, it behind us. Strange. It's that. Let's talk about the helicopter. Last thing we talk about. Yes. And then yes. we have to. And then we have to go to sleep. Well, uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's this is the, the second time we've we've seen a helicopter fly over Rick's since well, I think it was the third episode uh, in the first season when they were in Atlanta. Well don't, well, don't forget, there's also the helicopter with the governor. The governor. Well, and, yeah. Too. Well, that's where the the first that first initial that's helicopter that, yeah. came from. So where the hell? I ha- I have no idea, and I don't remember. I don't recall this in the comic either. Do you? Is this something not uh, from the comic? I don't remember this from the comic, but yeah. So um, I don't, I dude, I haven't looked at any theories. I haven't looked at anything. I did watch a couple. Of, I did watch a couple of videos. Oh, you bastard! Um, about where this helicopter face, face, could face come your camera, from, Mike. When you talk, <laughs> sorry, man. And what'd you say? <laughs> so face your face your mic when you talk, man. You're like talking. Face my. Oh, I'm talking to the side. You're talking to the left side, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, without going too crazy in, into spoiler territory, if you're a comic book reader, there's a new issue that just came out. I think it was 170. I haven't I haven't read it two, yet. Something like that. 173. You ready? No, but that, that's where this hel- this potential helicopter could be coming from. So Hold um, on, I gotta go read it. Hold on, I gotta yeah, get I'll, it. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll let you guys. Um, stir on that, but there's a, a, a new possible enemy out there. We, I guess, we're not sure if they're good or bad yet. But right, right. Some people are saying that that's that's um, this a, a that's little this. bit of a hint. And this okay, is okay. and this is way past in the oh, comic. Oh, it's, it's year, yeah, obviously because, it's years. Listen, we're we years ahead get, of the comic, but yeah, we didn't. So you get think the that you think that this is a? Or, you think it could just be a? Uh, it could be. Um, well, we won't. We won't hear anything else from this season. It'll just be a thing. It's just a thing that happened. Yeah, exactly. Listen, okay. dude, we got we got the helicopter initially in the first ep- uh, first season, like episode three, and we didn't see it until Michonne and Andrea stumbled upon the governor um, when they came upon the crashed helicopter. Yeah, so true. that was like season three. Yeah, true. So okay, yeah, it, it's just an idea. I mean, it's not necessarily my idea. This is like I said from other other podcasts and, okay. and some some videos and then the the other the other quick theory is that it could possibly be from the junkyard people that there are people that have gone back in the scenes uh in the junkyard where there's supposedly a helipad in the in the background and i don't know how true this is i didn't really even get into watching those videos uh very thoroughly or anything like that but some people are also saying that they're scouting okay. so uh, it could it be other than that it, for the most part, I just think it's, it's a tease for something in the future. Okay. Yeah. I, I get know? on board with that. Yeah. Um, all right, let's, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Um, yeah. so yeah, overall, I wasn't really happy with this episode. Next episode, we're going to be at the hilltop. We're going to see the, 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 the consequences of, of Jesus bringing those people back and yeah. Gregory being back there. So, um, that I'm kind of looking forward to. I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. So, um, Anything else, Mike? That's it? No. Again, we're sorry that we got this video out to you guys so late, but I hope you guys also did enjoy your holiday. And we'll make sure that we're uh, on time with, with the one with the videos from the fu- for the future. Yeah, definitely. Where can they get to us, Ben? <laughs> of course, at uh, Third Person Pod on the Instagram, on Facebook, and of course, write your comments below in this uh, in the comment section of this video and check out uh, you know just check out third person pod we love hearing from you guys and you're showing us so much love and of course don't forget iTunes you have a listen to us uh, at third person pod also yep and uh, speaking we were speaking about the comic a bunch of times if you do want to get uh, uh some free comics you can get over to comicblitz.com yes uh we still working that out over there you can enter the promo code third person pod and you can get yourself three months your first three months for only three dollars that's a dollar a month yes. for your first three months you get yourself unlimited comics go check that out over there get yourself some comics um check out retrosquat.com retrosquat.com that's yes. a, another podcast that i do uh it's pretty fun it's pretty pretty retro it's pretty cool 
And guys, thank you so much for listening, watching, uh, all these things. We appreciate it. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your reviews, all that stuff. And uh, we will definitely see you on the next episode of Third Person Pod for Fear the Walking Dead. So that's it. Good night, everyone. Later.